this is just a little instructional video on how I set up the uh, Cernogy, uh, the Aerostar SRS flight control system, the three axis aircraft gyro. Um, here it is, that's a plane. Um, my receiver, the, uh, the gyro. Um, so I had to study the manual a little bit. Uh, basically, set it up just the way that it is here. Um, but let's first look at uh, my radio setting. So, so here I have my channel layout. Channel one I have aileron um, because this is a delta. Uh, we're mixing. Elevator, throttle, and then here are my mode switches on my three-way switch. So in the off position on that switch, um, I have no gyro action whatsoever, fully manual. Um, and then in the uh, First position, I'm plus 100. Second position, minus 100. And then I'm skipping a channel, and then I have my trainer on channel 6. So that's my emergency get out of trouble switch. Spring return is the best if you have it. Um, so we come over here, you can see this on the receiver channel 1, aileron, channel 2, elevator, channel 3. Um, my uh, throttle, channel 4 is the mode switch, and then the final one, channel 6, I think it's 5, is the uh, panic button. Now these wires go over to the inputs on the flight controller. So the emergency channel is going to my channel 6, which is programmed for the uh, trainer. And then I have my elevator. And then on the multi, I have, uh, in the multi there's three wires. The red's not used, we don't have a rudder. But the brown is uh, the auxiliary for my modes. And the yellow is for the aileron. So that's the wiring. And then I have simply uh, two uh, servos, elevator and aileron. Because this is a delta wing, um, there's mixing going on in the flight controller. So, because of that, we have to look at the uh, the dip switch. So for a delta wing plane, so we we turn the switch to to the right. So we can see over here, uh, switch D is to the right. So that's the wiring our inputs from the receiver, our outputs to the plane, and I don't have a rudder, so the rudder's blank, and the aileron right, um, I don't need that, so I just have a single aileron, single elevator, and the mixing done inside. The other dip switch here is, um, the first one is by your beginner, turn it to the right, well, I'm not a beginner, so I left it to the left. And then that gives you your different uh, flight modes. I set this up once on at least for my friend who's a beginner. So we did switch uh, the dip switch to his right. And then that gives him his beginner mode and what they call practice. And what that does is in beginner mode, as soon as you let go of the stick, it self-levels. This only self-levels in the roll, not in the pitch. Um, that helps you get out of trouble. And then in practice, it uh, provides stabilization, um, and but doesn't self-level. So in here, an expert is only stabilization, so if the wind gives it a little push, it helps to filter that out. Um, in here, it's more like what you call a rate control. So if I'm going to bank, go to stick, say you're going to bank, you come out, you can bank. Uh, again, we're just 
my stabilization. Um, so here's where you need zero to 100, and then zero to minus 100. Like I said, that's where I have that set up uh, in there. switch uh, all the way down is minus 100 um, and the middle is plus 100 so that's where I get my two settings and then zero is everything else totally manual doesn't do anything so the last thing uh, to look at is the mounting this doesn't seem to care whether it's mounted this way this way, but it cannot be mounted sideways. Um, so, but I mounted it like this, and there's a little bit of foam sticky, which I can cut off so I can show you how it works. And right now we're we're live, no stabilization at all. If I shake the plane around, nothing's happening. If I put it to my Zero to 100 mode for motion, whatever this means for motion. You see here, I'm getting some movement. If I do all the way, I have gyro stabilization. The thing to make sure is that when you push the plane this way, this one's coming up, you push it back down. If you push it this way, it's going down. Uh, you push it back up this way. The nose is coming up, um, we're going down, the nose is going down, we're coming up. And the way you set that is on these gains here. So these gains will adjust how sensitive it is to these movements. When you first fly it, if it's jittery, it's doing this, you need to turn the gain towards zero. Um, but the gains go both ways. Screwdriver here. Here's the little screwdriver that comes with it. So if it's too sensitive, turn it toward zero. Uh, as well, if when you're testing your bank and the direction of your controls, if it's backwards, turn it all the way to the other side of zero and it will reverse it. So this is how you reverse the way the ailerons are moving to the right of zero, to the left of zero, and then how much past zero, um, farther away from zero, the more gain you have, uh, or less gain. And then that's it.